first thing that you're gonna have you're gonna have the bank so basically the bank you will be upgrade the bank cap and the gains definitely upgrade gains and bank cap as fast as you can this is gonna be basically your offline incomes your idle income this is where you're gonna get it so don't forget it will not be an idle game until you're gonna unlock the bank and welcome to idle games tv and this time we're gonna check out idle button well basically green button crypto earn what you're gonna do in this game let's check this game out so basically this is the button although the game is also called green button obviously as you can see it's red and it's red and it's hurting my eyes with that red but it's called green button so definitely there's a trick okay don't forget that you have tons of ad to watch man and also a pop-up ad every one minute and a half so 90 seconds and you're gonna have a pop-up ad and afterwards you're gonna have another 90 seconds and so on if you're not gonna watch if you're gonna watch by yourself an ad it will automatically restart the advertising and you will basically have one minute and a half in order for you to watch the next ad they will basically shove it up your throat so let's go for this game so basically you have the cursor over here this is the first thing that you need to upgrade this is the first thing that you will have basically create a cursor that will automatically press the button once every two seconds you need to upgrade that as fast as you can that's gonna be your first helper in this game this idle button green button red button or whatever Okay, we're back with that ad okay so 90 seconds let's go for another one okay so you have over here the runners basically these are the goblins as well you're gonna see that in a portion of the game they are called also goblins so the runners over here besides the cursor you're gonna have runners that have skills and stats over here as long as you're gonna stay in the game your runners will get experience points so basically if you're gonna stay in the game if you're gonna go offline your uh, runners will not get experience points so definitely need to stay in the game in order for you to get those skill points in order for you to upgrade them there's a lot of uh, skills that you need to upgrade and as you can see the last one it's at level 50 so definitely you need to stay in the game for a while okay you can reset your skill progress uh, if you decide to put on a different one and so on basically the first one that you're gonna upgrade is the strength and the wind foot basically the speed and the power of those runners over there definitely you will need to do more damage okay let's go for this one so basically the hermit basically the sorcerer basically uh, i don't know the guy from lord of the links again no gambit the uh, white beard guy i forgot his name or oh, whatever okay so the hermit gives the hermit some encouragement to improve his spell casting okay so don't forget one thing about this guy although he has his level up to four minus regeneration and the spell book down here in the skills in the spells over here you have three spells don't forget one meteor study and dark ritual don't forget that three skills okay three skills not just one so definitely one okay so as you can see over here i'm gonna go for the study in order for him to get more experience and that's how really, i will upgrade his skills and so on he has a lot of skills as well the last one you will unlock at level 50. okay let's go for the dwarf basically this is the last one that you're gonna upgrade it will require you 60 million in order for you to unlock him and afterwards you're gonna just upgrade his power he doesn't have skills he doesn't have anything basically this is the most useful one in order for you to what to raid the city over here on the top of the screen you will have the challenge so save the city from darkness and get prizes for each open district this is what you need to do in this game let's start so basically you will need to click that button and you need to complete those circles in order for you to get different kind of advantages depending on how many circles will you complete you will get different kind of bonuses you will also get two runners or one runner or none or three or four or five depending on the level after you're gonna fully complete the circle you will go on a harder challenge so definitely you need to upgrade your sorcerer your runners and your dwarf as well and also your cursors on the bottom of the screen as you can see over there i have some skills we will go right for them in just a few minutes but bear with me so don't forget the challenge over here as you can see tier 1 tier 2 tier 3 4 and 5 after you're gonna unlock the fifth one you're gonna go for the next city in order for you to uh, let's say be able to do more damage okay we're back okay so let's go for the second part of this game so when you're gonna be able to unlock the tesla okay so here it is 
the first thing that you're gonna have you're gonna have the bank so basically the bank you will be upgrade the bank cap and the gains definitely upgrade gains and bank cap as fast as you can this is gonna be basically your offline incomes your idle income this is where you're gonna get it so don't forget it will not be an idle game until you're gonna unlock the bank and afterwards only afterwards you will be able to get your idle reward until then no you just need to click it it's just a simple clicker game after you're gonna unlock the bank it's also a clicker but also an idle game so unlock the bank after you're gonna unlock the bank the second one you're, you're gonna upgrade and you're gonna unlock sorry it's gonna be the laboratory so here it is you're gonna research nuts well i know how it sounds but you're not nuts you're gonna research uh, not tons but definitely cool things so research speed strong arrows hermit boost the hermit boost don't forget those are your runners although you have hermit's boost and runner boost oh no sorry the hermit is uh, sorry the hermit is the the wizard sorry sorry so the hermit is the wizard and the runners are yeah, down okay the experience gain uh, income over here so the experience experience income by 150 180 and so on the skill cooldown the dwarf not attacked basically your dwarf has a chance to get the nuts that you need in your laboratory to upgrade different kind of things you have dwarfs critics and ticker cap basically the ticket cap sorry you mm, don't put your nuts over there because from what i saw it will not go above six so definitely most probably i mean you need to stay in the game in order for your ticket cap to go above six so although i did stay offline more than eight hours my ticket cap didn't went above six so you do need to upgrade that in order for you to see if you're going to stay more in the game if your ticket cap will go above but as i mentioned earlier if you are just gonna go offline and then come back your tickets will not go above level six so don't forget you need to upgrade your runners your hermit and so on i'm gonna increase my experience income by 180 and for the next hour i cannot upgrade anymore for this so basically it will research that thing okay you will have your cards okay increase spell power with magic cards so you will have the first cube over there the power damage the reverse runners and the regenerate runners. so basically you have the gold amount gold cubes fall from heaven and give you a lot of money you will increase your all your damage for the next 30 seconds it will basically double but as long as you're gonna upgrade that your multiplier will be more than double it will basically be triple quadruple and so on the reverse runner inverts runners for 30 seconds and gives more experience per jump and inverse mana regeneration basically that what it will help your wizard over there in order for him to do more spells basically the meteor one is the first one that you're gonna unlock is the first one that you're gonna use for the hermit okay and the last thing that i want to say get run so basically after you're gonna be able to compete different kind of challenges in the city where you will be able to get runners as reward as well you're gonna get this option so this option is required in order for you to not have so many runners on the board because they will not be able all of them to hit the button so basically you will merge your runners over here you will get more of them but basically you will make them stronger and as you can see some of them are bigger although that you will not have only five colors or six so green blue uh, purple light brown and uh, red if i'm not mistaken or i don't know if you have red or not sorry i forgot that but basically these are all the colors basically when you're gonna start again with the red one basically the red one will just grow in size so don't uh, don't uh, be scared like i was the first time when i saw that i did merge my runners and i got the green one again i was like what <laughs> or whatever okay so as you can see over there under my runners level 49 there is a level 41 so as long as you're gonna stay in the game you're gonna be able to uh, collect your experience as fast as fast as fast as you can so don't go offline stay in the game you're free to gain more experience and so on uh, we're gonna go in the challenges and let's see what we're gonna get okay so let's go for the first one 
So as long as you're gonna have your dwarf at a specific level, uh, what I mean by that is the fact that when he hits one time, he will complete a full circle. Basically, that's the only thing you need. So the first circle is definitely gonna be helpful for you in order for you to complete it before the dwarf hits the button, and that's how you'll be able to go for the next uh, tier in this city or in a depending uh, different challenge. But you can upgrade your skills as well. We're gonna uh, uh, we're gonna activate my skills, sorry, not upgrade. So as you can see, you will get some cards for your skills that afterwards you'll be able to upgrade. Let's go for this one and let's up activate all the skills. Okay, so basically I will not be able to complete the sir. Yes. Okay. So right now we will go for tier four. Let's hope so because the dwarf will help me or not. We will see in order for us to complete full circles and we will get more runners or not okay so he will definitely not hit the button in time uh, the dwarf don't forget he has a cooldown of something around 10 seconds so definitely it's quite annoying from time to time but let's say it's worthwhile okay let's go over here let's click the button and as you can see i will not complete the circle he will hit it okay so 30 seconds just stay in this challenge uh, you will have up to six tickets as i mentioned earlier you will just complete them get the cards in order for you to do the spells and it will be easier easier but if you're gonna stay in that game you're gonna be able to collect the experience for your runners and for your hermit your wizard more faster okay let's continue and over here where you can see the information button basically the goblins and the hermit the goblins and the merchant earlier are the runners the cursor the hermit and the dwarf over there so damage per second 1.35 million definitely i need a lot more in order for me to go on harder challenges and so on basically you can watch ads and definitely at first we watch tons and tons of ads in order for you to do some upgrades and let's say in order for you to get the cash that you need to unlock the bank and that's how you get your either reward and so on although the game it's called crypto gains it's not the real game where you will be able to collect real cash out of it so don't play the game for that if you're an idle clicker fan definitely click this as fast as you can don't forget this one guys and until next time take care don't forget to subscribe and please hit that like button bye